First of all, I'm grabbing the Farsali Care Unicorn Essence Foundation Primer. I'm just like dripping it on my face first and then I'm going to massage it into my skin. And this one, oh my goodness, I love it. It moisturizes my skin so good and it's just amazing. I love it. Next, I'm grabbing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation, the Luminous Foundation, I think it's called. And then I'm just dabbing it on my face with a beauty blender. And I do know the color is a li little bit off for my face, but this is the one I got in PR and I really liked it. So, and the color wasn't that off, but a little bit. So you can see it's a little bit off, <laughs> but it's a good foundation. Next, I'm grabbing the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and then I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and on my forehead and I did use like the lightest color because I want, uh, want my under eyes to be super bright and uh, yeah, so I want it to be like super contoured almost but like highlighted underneath the eyes. <laughs> and then next I'm taking the Huda Beauty Loose Powder in the color Pound Cake and I'm just taking a little bit of that on my brush and then I'm just applying it all over my face. Um, this is also a good powder. It smells a little bit perfumed, but I, I like it still. And now I'm taking the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks blushes. These are new and I'm using the color Fig and the color Boom and Bloom. The first one is the Fig and it's a little bit lighter than the other one. So I'm using that one first, like contouring with it. Uh, like my cheekbones around my forehead uh, you can see what I'm doing but I really really love the color of these and how they blend like so, oh my goodness so good uh, and I'm grabbing the darker one this is the boom and bloom I think that's what it's called yeah boom and bloom and I'm also doing the same thing just darkening up the contour a little bit um, this is gonna make it like a little bit smoother when you use like a lighter color first and then go in with a darker one so that's what I did and oh my god the color I love 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 it next I'm grabbing the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner and I'm not gonna use it as a liner <laughs> I am going to do my brows with it um, they did turn out a little bit harsh but I just I had to go with it when I first started so I just like kind of made like hair strokes with it so I wanted the brows to be like super dark now I'm taking the Fig Blush again from NYX and I'm going to do my eyeshadow with it and contour my nose also a little bit, you can see later. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the contour, starting with a lighter one and then I'm going to darken up the, the eyes a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, now you can see that I'm contouring my nose. I'm just like going super fast, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah. Now I'm taking the Sweet Cheeks blush again in Boom and Bloom and I'm just darkening up uh, the eyeshadow because I am going to apply black also. I just want it to be super, super smoky and I also apply a little bit underneath the eyes as well and uh, yeah. Now I'm going in with the black NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I wanted to use this as a base first, so I just applied a little bit on the eyelids and then I actually t took a brush and took the brush onto the pencil and then put it on the eyelids. <laughs> it was a little bit hard with the, with the pencil. So that's what I did and then I'm taking the Urban Decay uh, Blackout Eyeshadow. This is the super black eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And I'm just doing a smoky eye. I'm just blending out the, the jumbo eye pencil that I applied and also smoking it out a little bit and you know just doing a smoky eye um, then, yeah. then I'm also taking the black pencil from NYX and I'm applying it a little bit like on the outside of um, my mouth and also a little bit in the inside um, and I'm also taking my fingers to like blend it out a little bit to make it like smudgy and gross like I wanted to make it look like the blackness is like coming from inside the mouth if that makes sense um, so yeah, I'm just like making it a little bit like textured and I'm just doing it randomly. I didn't want it to be like super nicely shaded. I just want it to be like random. Uh, now I took the Linda Hallberg eyeliner in black and I'm just like starting to do the spider legs. Uh, so I just outline them first 
And here I want the spider legs to look like they're coming from inside the mouth. And I also took the same pencil that I just used and I'm just making them the spider legs a little bit thicker. Um, just like, yeah, making them thick and juicy. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I'm taking my Epic Ink Liner from NYX and I'm making them more defined, the legs. Uh, so I'm just like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just like coloring them and defining them and making them sharp and everything. Um, and now I actually took the same eyeliner pencil that I just used earlier, the Linda Hallberg one. Uh, actually, no, this is the Hermity K one. It's also like a blackish gray. I can link it down below, but I just made like the um, shading underneath the um, legs so it looks like like a shadow and I also took a brush and blended it out a little bit so it looks more like soft now I'm taking the NYX white eyeliner and I'm going to make like white lines on the legs and this is gonna make it look like a little bit I don't know like smooth no, I don't know what this is doing, but it makes it look really cool. It looks like the, the legs are highlighted. Uh, now I'm taking the Boom and Bloom uh, blush again, and I'm applying it a little bit like around my mouth to make it look a little bit gross. And then I'm making crosses underneath my eye. Well, one cross underneath the eye and one cross above the eyebrow. And this is, I, I thought it looked, made, made it look a little bit like demon, like, and I also did some shading on my neck. I just speeded up the process because it's not that interesting and I just did it super fast. Um, but I just like shaded, I contoured my uh, decolletage, I don't know what, how to say it, but you know. And this is the most beautiful highlight ever. This is the Smashbox um, Hoodwitch collection, I think. It's the highlighter and I just highlighted my cheeks and my nose a little bit. And that's it. That is the final result of the creepy crawler mouth. Really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. Bye bye!